It's 1990, and boom, literally, because we are going to be ranking countries by kills. Scary stuff. And there's only one place to start, Colombia. Made infamous by Pablo Escobar, this country is one to watch, quite literally. Simply check it out on Netflix. Some of the key reasons behind the country's killings include poverty, inequality, and the presence of armed groups. But none are more well-known than the cartels. Pablo Escobar's cartel turned Medellin into the killing capital of the world, responsible for numerous acts of violence, including bombings, kidnappings, and even being eaten by hippopotamuses. Yikes! And by 1994, the kill rate had risen to 80 per 100,000 people, the highest rate in the world. But now, now, it's time to look at the country that's taken over at the top, Russia. You might mainly associate Russia with vodka, bears, and Putin. Or maybe Putin riding a bear whilst drinking vodka. However, in the mid to late 90s, the country can best be associated with a bloodbath. This is due to the painful aftermath that resulted from the fall of the Soviet Union, which caused an increase in poverty and desperation. This created a breeding ground for criminal activity, as many people turned to crime as a means of survival. But challenging Russia for the highest country ranked by kills is India, a country known for its rich cultural heritage, diverse population, and of course, curry. But India is also known for its unstoppable kill rate. And while I'm sure they'd rather be famous for their curry than murder, we're going to have to save countries ranked by curries for another video. The extreme lack of access to basic needs such as food, shelter, and employment has caused an enormous spike of despair amongst individuals, leading to an increase in criminal activities, including violent crime. And to top it all off, the country suffers from a weak law enforcement and criminal justice system. The police force in India is often underfunded and understaffed, making it difficult for them to effectively combat the incredibly high kill rate. For now, India and Russia might be dominating our top two, but let's take a look at our country in third place, Brazil. While famous for its diverse culture, rich history, and stunning natural beauty, it's also incredibly well known for... The country's problems come down to a number of economic crises, high levels of poverty, and social inequality. But worsening the problem is, you guessed it, long borders. Okay, maybe you didn't guess it. But let me explain. The country's long borders and proximity to major powder-producing countries in South America make it a hub for substance smuggling. This has led to a rise in organized crime groups, which has further added to the violence and instability in the country. These criminal organizations often resort to dangerous tactics in order to maintain control over their territory and protect their interests. All right, so at this stage, India, Russia, and Brazil might have dominated the leaderboard, but there is still time for one country to break into our top three countries ranked by kills. I'm talking, of course, about the land of the free, the United States of America. The US often likes to claim that they're the best at everything. Well, here is something that they are actually second best at. The issue of violence in the United States has been a cause for concern in recent years, particularly in the late 2010s. During this time, the country has experienced a significant increase in the number of violent crimes. This sharp increase has occurred particularly in major cities driven by a violent cocktail of crippling poverty, economic inequality, the availability of firearms, and the opioid epidemic. Much less an American dream, more like an American nightmare. And sadly, the rise of gang-related violence and the growth of criminal organizations have also contributed to the increase in homicides during this time. This might not be enough to knock India off the top of the podium, but it will land them firmly in second place, followed by Brazil in third. 